Good day viewers, in this video we will show you how to import uh, points from a text file uh, for a surface in Civil 3D and how to create a profile from that surface. It's an easy process and it will not take much time. What you need is AutoCAD Civil 3D installed as you see, this is the main one and you need your files that we will be working on to be downloaded also from the provided link here we have part 2 uh, in RR format first we need to extract that we will extract it like this you need to install WinRAR from the internet and or any other like the software I'm using any other free software from the internet for uh, uh, uncompressing or extracting uh, compressed files this is when now we click part B we'll see also inside the part B there is provotopodata.zip also this one needs to be extracted and the AutoCAD Civil 3D tutorial the PDF that we need to work based on it. Now in this video I will simplify the procedures in the PDF file for you to be faster, for you to do the steps faster. We will extract this now. Now we have we will be working with this these files, mainly the ST reach topo northeast will zeal elevation to txt and we will start now by importing these points inside. First, you need to create a surface. How to create a surface? You start by in the Home tab. It's a blank. You open a blank uh, uh, DWG file and you go to Surfaces. Make sure it is Civil 3D, the Autodesk Civil 3D. You go to Surfaces and create surface. And nothing here you just click surface directly okay and the surface will be created you will see it here now we need to go to modify and in the surface icon on the left we click on it it will open for us a surface tab as you see here in this surface tab we will add the points how to add the points you need to go to add data you click on it then point files this is the file that we will import once you click on it uh, the screen will appear and this we click on the plus sign as you see here and uh, because I already extracted and chose the file these are the files you'll see in that folder where, where I, have, I have extracted them. You click on the ST reach topo and ez.txt and we click open. This uh, file will be recognized by AutoCAD as northern eastern point elevation. If we go to the file and we click on it in txt format you will see a file containing these are the co coordinates and arranged in columns and rows three columns. Each column represents uh, a, a direction. Here it is the northing, here is the easting, and here is the elevation. This is what is showing in the see, northing, easting, in the Civil 3D, northing, easting, and point elevations. We just click OK, and the points will be imported. It will, go, it will show you a warning message. This warning message, because of the text file, there is a number here. This number it has a uh, it has a reason. It's not actually an error. It has a reason to be placed there. We leave it for now. It's not our concern, and we just close this uh, information ma message. And now we click on Z enter. You can click in the keyboard just Z enter. This is for the zoom. And once you click enter, it he will tell you what you want to zoom real time or extends. We click E enter or we click down on extends this one now it will show us the imported points and represented in a surface and this to see the properties of this surface we need to go we are still on the surface tab and 
we click on the surface properties it will show us another dialog box In this dialog box it will show us the style as you see here the surface style here we can see that it is 2 meter and 10 meter background if we change it to 1 meter and 5 meter now, now look at the details what will happen here click apply you will see that more details has appeared because we reduce the elev elevation points the elevation levels also another representation we can click on it is the elevation banding 2d it's represented by color as you will see now we click apply you will see these elevation banding on purple representing the highest and the red rep representing the lowest point now we we need it, we don't need this elevation banding we go to the one meter and five meter design and click apply and okay now we need to create a prof profile this is our main uh, objective here in this video to create a profile you need to start with a polyline so you click pl enter and it will tell you where you want to start the, your starting point here I have disabled the snapping you need to disable the snap and you need to disable this one show snapping reference line and you need to disable strict cursors to specific angles otherwise the cursor will stick to any ending or middle lines in here so we don't need now we need to zoom here a little bit with the scroll you go up in the scroll mouse scroll you go up, you'll zoom in. If you go out, you zoom out. Now you click on the starting point and we make it in a segments slowly, slowly along the, the path that I'm showing here. Actually, this is a river or the lowest point, a valley. And we go through it all one by one, as you'll see. Then we'll create a profile along this river actually this is what is given to you in the class also at the end you'll see an extended here you cannot click if you click anywhere it will give another line we just click enter without clicking the mouse it will stop now this profile this is what we need our profile to be taken from so we click on this polyline as you see here it's clicked we go it's selected we go to home and we, we go then to alignment then we create alignment from objects this one and you choose the top side of your polyline we go on the top side and click on it again it will show you here press enter to accept alignment or reverse direction as you see here there is an arrow showing that the profile will be read from the right side of the map to the left side now we will see it when we put the profile section and the drawing itself we click enter we need this direction we click enter it will show us this dialog box here you can put labels if you want for the stations we can put major and minor only just to see where is the starting point and ending point in this case and we click ok now the, the Aligned profile is select is created here. We need to select it. An alignment tab, a new alignment tab is visible now for us. It wasn't visible before. This alignment tab shows the properties of this profile. Now what we need to do is to bind this alignment to the surface. So we go to surface profile and here tells you click surface in the dialog box you go select surface and click add you will see the surface is added here then you click ok another information message tells you that a profile have been created and listed in prospector here ok then we close this information message and we go to profile view profile view now all the work is done we just need to place the profile in the AutoCAD drawing with some configuration. We click on the profile view. This is the create profile view the general dialog box. Here we we need you need to sh to put some settings. The settings we want here just if you want to change the location of the profile view. 
we leave it in the same location it doesn't matter here we don't change anything we just click next here you will see the start station and end station this is the along the polyline we chose it is the length it's around 495 meters and we click next here you must see minimum and maximum to show to see that your line is uh, aligned to the surface that we chose in this case we are good so we go next nothing more to to change here also we go next nothing to change and here also we go next nothing to change you can experiment on these later if you like but mainly now we need just to create a profile first here this is a profile create profile view you click it and now the cursor is ready to place the profile you just zoom out a little bit the profile is very long zoom out and place it above the surface you have the surface drawing you have we click on the left upper corner and we click just click left click in the mouse and you'll see that this is the profile for the polyline added as you see we started from the top part this side in the map this top part is here you can see this is the profile going with the elevation this is the station change and this is the elevation you can see here the scale is different than the scale here so this profile is ready to be printed or whatever you can do with it another thing here also we can do a fast uh, cross section profile this cross section profile uh, we create another polyline we click PL enter and we'll do for example here one no need even to do full polyline we click here and it's enough and we click enter this will this will create just one line and will cross our surface we click on it same procedure again we click on it we go to home tab then alignment then create alignment from object then you click this line it will go from top to bottom you will see this direction here the arrow we accept this direction again it's enter now the process is repeated again this is what we want we go to just here alignment style we click ex existing we click ok then we click on the let's create it now we click on our uh, alignment object and we go again it will go again automatically on the alignment tab we just add the surface surface profile we add the surface we click ok the information message confirmed it then we click on the profile view and we go next 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 and create profile view now this is the cross section we can place it down for example here and you can see now how it is see this is this direction from this to this you'll see that because we chose spaces here there is no uh, surfaces so it's empty as you can see here this side is this side it's empty and this side is this side it's empty so we can reduce the polyline to just exactly the same width of our surface map anyway this will show you the elevation the cross-sectional elevation this is actually what is wanted from that AutoCAD uh, PDF file in the uh, in the part 2 uh, folder part 2 file you downloaded I hope this is helpful and thank you for listening